Welcome back to the Castle Town build. Now that we're done with our cathedral, it's time to move on to our town. And this is one of these situations where you look at the scale of your project and you don't even know what to do. So I started with just putting in some flooring. Well, I pondered the scale of what I have, I have set out for myself. And I'm just using standard oak flooring and and then I started building up and just really doing a lot of rough work because again I kept looking around at the rest of the the area and going oh wow I have so much to do and it really became overwhelming so I, I just picked out some small things and started working on them and and I just kind of would work on something and then get fed up with how it was looking or what was happening and go off and do something else. Um, you see I put part of a second story on and now I'm over laying in a, a bridge or I'm not sure if that's going to stay a bridge. It's, it's going to be a something. Um, but it is going to be a street. I don't know if I will make a bridge out of it. And now I started working behind here because I want to put it in a stable because this is where travelers are going to come in, they're going to have their horses, they're going to have, want to, to park their horses park their horses somewhere nice well they go inside and, and have a, a pint and a nice bed so we built four three stables uh, built three three little stables um, only, really only the rich would have a stable for the horse everyone else would just sort of tie the horse up or their donkey even some people wouldn't even have a horse they just have a donkey me just finishing up some walls and you notice that I'm bringing the second story out um, and these are called uh, juddies or jades. Um there's actually like six when you, when you go and look it up there's six different terms that all mean the same thing and basically it's stepping the second floor out one and there were several reasons for this to, to occur in a town and you see I'm actually tearing down this wall the reason I did that is I realized I couldn't jut both these buildings out because they'd run into each other. So I just moved one building in. And there are multiple reasons why this this would happen in a town. But one of the more common reasons in a medieval town was that you you would pay taxes based on the square footage of your ground floor. So they wouldn't actually go up and measure your second or your third floor. They just measured the ground floor. So by jutting out the upper floors, you'd get more square footage, but you wouldn't have to pay for it. So you know, it's a win-win. And it also was used a lot to show off your wealth, because really only the wealthy could, have, could afford this. Um, and it was also a, a very practical thing, because the, the length of beams necessary often you couldn't get it into a town so to take care of that you could have these jutting areas that would actually take a load off of the upper floor now you see me here I was trying to play with dormer windows and it, it was really a struggle because I just couldn't get it right in my head and I do finally end up giving up and just building the roof and being done with it. I might go back and put dormer windows in, um, but it, it just isn't something I could build into the construction. So there, I finally gave up and I'm putting in the uh, the roof. Now you notice I finished the roof off screen. It doesn't go all the way up and peak because I actually need a shallower roof than you can get in Minecraft easily. So I just decided to leave it as a flat topped roof. You see me using the logs to make the illusion of us having a beam. And usually you'd have a big beam up there though to kind of to hold the structure together, but I didn't want to run the beam and I can just create the illusion using these um, blocks. We get kind of mixed up in the tree there for a little bit. I haven't decided on any of these what any of these smaller buildings are going to be. And you notice I'm leaving this building unfinished and you'll notice that I actually am going to leave a lot of buildings unfinished. The reason is very simple. There's a lot of work to finish off a building. 
and a lot of it is just repetitive work. And I have the advantage of being able to, say, ask DOS to finish off a building, or, or take some time when I'm waiting on something to render to finish off a building. So I just want to rough it all in. You guys can get an idea. I'm going to be reusing the same, same blocks over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, a lot of this is just going to be filling in cobblestone, filling in birch wood, because I'm using birch for the second floor of most of these buildings, um, with an exception that we'll get to here in just a moment. And we're again just working on the, the very roughing area. Now you'll notice that this these two buildings, or the left building especially, is a little bit short because there's actually a step going down. Now, the way I'm going to solve this is I'm going to have the entryway on the on the the main road going between the church and the cathedral, allowing them to come in at the lower ever level and just clear off the dirt, and it'll just be like a backfill. Now you see me working here on the on the pub. And I decided that the pub had to be have taller a taller second story than these other buildings, and it had to have a third story. So I started sort of working on that, and then I decided I needed to get some roads in. One of the things I really do struggle with when I'm working on these kind of projects is getting a true vision of where everything is going to go. So here I'm, I'm laying out a road just to make sure that I don't put buildings where they don't need to be. So for a second I'd put a, uh, a log down and then realized I can't do that because I have this great tree here. Um, that's the kind of thing I'm trying to avoid. And there I am working on the third story and the third story is a shorter story of the pub. Um, just to make a, a little differentiation. Now I finally took a break from building the buildings and decided I need to build on the city walls. And you see I used a landmark with a redstone torch to create a, a guideline for me so that I was sure I was always going straight even if I if I just wandered away from the, the wall and came back. Now this wall is much narrower than the castle wall and this also would be semi-accurate. Um, the the town is important, important enough to have a wall, but not as important as the castle. So if it's not as strong, it's just not as strong. See me here just laying out the, the very basics of it. And a, a small entryway, and we're going to have multiple little entryways leading off to places where you can have farms or fishing shacks or all kinds of other things. me quickly crenellating that area just to make sure that everything was looking just the way I wanted it to look. Now when I get over to this area I actually have to pause for a bit and I have to go get the Minecraft circle template uh, because I honestly forgotten how to build the circle I wanted and I went with an 11 circle. It's just a little bit larger than the small circles I have there and I felt like it worked as a corner tower. Again this isn't a super strong structure then I realized I actually put it in the wrong spot and I had to move it just slightly because my blue lines actually denote the outside of my walls. You see me here just filling in the wall, um, mainly because I was tired of pigs constantly getting into my wall. And then I decided to go ahead and raise the, the gate area up above the wall to make sure that it was formed the way I wanted it to look. Now here we are just bringing up this area over here and then I realized I had screwed up the circle again um, and had to correct my minor problems once more. Now this wall gets very interesting as we move along here. The, there's a huge drop here into this pit where all these pigs are and then there's a, a cliff and then the cliff plummets back down into yet another area that um, is a huge drop. And it was actually it, slightly interesting to try to figure out how I wanted to handle that. Um, you'll notice I have a nice missing chunk that, uh, that I didn't realize before I started recording. Um, and it won't load. 
So we're going, we're crenellating. I'm just sort of fixing this wall up because this wall is going to be, this corner, I need to kind of plan. There's a huge dip here um, between the wall and where the cathedral is. And that dip is going to be where I'm going to put sort of the working class, not the poor. The poor are going to be over in the swamp, but more of the working class people. So I have to kind of plan for the fact that I need to get people in and out of that area. And here we are building up our tower here. I do have to destroy some trees and kind of clean out this area to, to make it work just right. continue just our crenellation and bringing this up so that we get the feeling of where our our gate is going to be and then I go and I uh, assist the pig that was standing on the single bar of uh, slabs gave him more so now as we fly into the area here we see what our our cathedral square is starting to look like with our buildings that have their your jutting upper stories that hang out over the square. It does kind of enclose the square a little bit, but that's to be expected. We would expect that kind of behavior. We see the castle rising up above and the, all the framing for our pub and our wall. Now we have quite a ways to go with that wall still, and we'll get to that eventually. As we pan around, we can see just how big this pub is going to be. Um, it's going to become a pub, an inn, a stable. It's going to be many things, so I had to make the room there for it. Again, a lot of the, the filling in is going to be done off screen, um, just when I have time or, or if DOS has time, because it's really just rinse and repeat of filling in cobblestone, birch, and oak. we pan around you can see the two smaller buildings here there's gonna be another row of buildings along the street that's going coming down towards this area we're flying over so this is our town so far we've got a long ways to go hope you're enjoying it <laughs> 